he will talk about upper right abdominal pain and its top seven causes, signs, symptoms, and treatments. When we refer to the right upper abdomen, we mean the area just below the ribs on the right side. The most common cause of right upper abdominal pain is cholecystitis, which is inflammation of the gallbladder. This usually occurs when its duct is obstructed by gallstones, leading to inflammation and infection. They cause a sudden, sharp pain in the right upper quadrant of the abdomen. The pain radiates or is transferred to the right shoulder or back and is often triggered by eating a fatty meal. The pain typically starts abruptly and can last for several hours, usually more than six hours. If the pain lasts less than six hours, it is usually biliary colic. Tenderness over the gallbladder area is often present. For diagnosing cholecystitis, Murphy's sign is used. It means while pressing on the upper right side of the abdomen where the gallbladder is, the patient feels a sharp pain and stops breathing in suddenly. An ultrasound is the primary tool used to diagnose this condition. In cholecystitis, the pain is continuous until treatment is initiated. It will not subside on its own and can worsen over time. Treatment options include diet and medications in mild or early cases, such as fasting to rest the gallbladder, intravenous fluids and antibiotics to manage infection. However, dietary modifications alone are not considered a long-term treatment. For long-term non-surgical treatment, effectiveness is only around 20%, which is why surgery is typically recommended. This surgery is called laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Almost 80 to 90% of patients with acute cholecystitis will require surgery. Another common cause of right upper abdominal pain is biliary colic. In this case, gallstones still block the gallbladder duct but temporarily. The difference from cholecystitis is that there is no significant inflammation or infection. The pain usually lasts for several hours and resolves on its own in most cases. Symptoms often occur after eating a fatty meal and can radiate to the right shoulder or back. Dietary changes such as following a low-fat diet are important in mild cases but they do not cure gallstones. Avoiding fatty foods can help prevent pain attacks. Oral bile acid pills such as usodeoxycholic acid can help dissolve cholesterol gallstones over time. However, as a general rule, if gallstones are asymptomatic, they do not require treatment. This, the third most common cause of right upper abdominal pain is hepatitis or liver inflammation. This condition causes swelling and stretching of the liver capsule, and since the liver itself lacks pain receptors, the pain is felt when the capsule or surrounding tissues are affected. The pain is usually dull and diffuse rather than sharp. The pain can be accompanied by systemic symptoms like fatigue, jaundice yellowing of the skin and eyes, fever, dark urine, and light-colored stools. Most cases of hepatitis are caused by viruses such as hepatitis A, hepatitis A, B, and hepatitis C. Hepatitis A causes liver infection but does not cause chronic liver disease and most people recover fully. Hepatitis B spreads through blood and sexual contact. It can cause both acute and chronic disease. Chronic hepatitis B can lead to cirrhosis or liver cancer. Hepatitis C usually spreads through blood-to-blood -blood contact, such as needle sharing. Chronic hepatitis C is one of the most common causes of chronic liver disease and often progresses to cirrhosis or liver cancer if left untreated. The diagnosis of hepatitis is based on blood tests showing elevated liver enzymes such as AST and ALT and specific viral markers like antibodies or antigens for hepatitis A, B or C. A fourth less common but important cause of right upper abdominal pain is pancreatitis, particularly when gallstones are involved. Generally, this is more of a central pain called epigastric, but it can be felt in the right upper abdomen. The pain radiates to the back worsens when lying down and improves when sitting forward. The pain is sudden and severe, and it is often accompanied by nausea, vomiting, and fever. Diagnosis can be confirmed with blood tests showing elevated amylase and lipase levels. ACT scan is also important for diagnosis. Pancreatitis usually develops because gallstones block the bile duct, which causes a backup of digestive enzymes in the pancreas, leading to inflammation. 
Another major cause is the excessive alcohol consumption, especially with long-term alcohol abuse. Without prompt treatment, symptoms can worsen and lead to complications like pancreatic necrosis, where pancreatic tissue becomes infected, which can cause sepsis. Most patients require hospital care to manage pancreatitis. Fasting and intravenous fluids are crucial to allow the pancreas to rest and recover. If pancreatitis is caused by gallstones, a procedure called endoscopic retrograde chalangiopancreatography or surgery may be performed to remove the blockage. The fifth common cause of right upper abdominal pain can be pneumonia and pleurisy. Although they typically cause chest pain, inflammation of the lower lobe of the lungs can be felt as upper right abdominal pain. These conditions are usually associated with respiratory symptoms such as cough, fever, and shortness of breath. The pain tends to increase with breathing. The pain is usually sharp and stabbing, and it can be worsened by coughing. The sixth the most common cause is liver abscesses, which are rare but still important to consider. Symptoms include persistent pain, fever, malaise, and possible jaundice. CT scan and ultrasound are important for diagnosis. The seventh cause is a peptic ulcer, which usually does not cause right upper abdominal pain, but it is possible in rare cases. This is especially true when the ulcers are located in the duodenum. The pain is usually more central or epigastric rather than on the right. It is described as a burning or gnawing sensation, which is often relieved by antacids.